How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So it's good to see you on stage earlier yeah. this morning. Um, the song is like a bomb, a schlager bomb we all need. Yes, thank um, you. What was the thinking behind the song? Uh, did you write it with whom? Uh, so uh, Henrik Setson, Henrik Axelsson and Thomas Gesson and Erik Bernholm uh, has written it. And I was uh, like just in the finishing of the song. Uh, so when I got the song to me, it was almost done. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it was a super nice experience to like listen to the song the first time and I was okay, yeah, the demo. And uh, I need to try this and I just and repeat, it's something special here. And then I went up to Stockholm to Henrik and uh, recorded it and, I, and it was like, okay. <laughs> And then we did some uh, changes in the end, and uh, so on. So, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it 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 felt like it was written to me. Did they write it at a songwriting camp or? No, um, no, yeah. <coughs> like this genre is uh, like Henrik Setson and Thomas Gesson. They like it's their soul. Henrik Setson and I talked uh, about it later that uh, earlier that uh, uh, it's like from our heart we love this uh, kind of music and uh, it's so nice to show it for people and uh, yeah we want to, uh, everybody to dance and sing you know uh, what I've seen is like you are doing what Sweden knows do great like ah, Schlager yeah. that pop Diva mm -hmm. on stage, so much glitter and glow. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we wanted to create a number that was like as we feel for the song that it's glitter and you know this uplifting feeling. And I think Jan Videgren and Lotta Furebeck has really worked that out so well. <laughs> you put your own touch to the staging. Uh, we had a mood board that we uh, sent to them and some uh, like um, yes, uh, yeah and some words that was important. We had we want a modern schlager party <laughs> uh, and we want glitter and uh, um, feminine energy and uh, this kind of words that uh, and then they came back with an idea and uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, the fan base of Eurovision on Twitter, especially, mm -hmm. they've gone nuts with your song. Oh, I'm so happy! It's a, uh, you know, it's a crazy. I've just been in this little bubble, <laughs> and uh, I've lived with the song, and you know, and now it's like, yeah, people, they are going to hear it, and maybe we can meet. Uh, I can meet the fans and sing this song with them, and it's so, you know, I I get goosebumps because. That's what I live for. I I, I, I am longing to it <laughs> to meet you. I think it's a song that everyone is gonna love, oh. um, especially at the parties and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a party schlager song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when you're a bit drunk, you can like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah and just okay. scream out the, and it's you know the message is it's just throw yourself out in love so you just have to be brave and just sing it and dance <laughs> and be free yeah so um i think your last time at melody festival was in 2021 right yes exactly and so this is your third time yeah. how have you how do you feel you've evolved as an artist oh uh, i think now? yeah i think a lot uh, because i've worked so much on stage and i've uh, worked with so much talented people that has inspired me and helped me grow uh, and also I'm 10 years older from when I first did Melody Festival here in Malmö and and I have the opportunity that I've been uh, I have a, a little daughter so she has also, me, also taught me so much about myself so I think I'm much more calm and secure about who I am and what I want to give uh, to people uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm a bit touched when I talk about that because she has really shown me that what's important and that I just want to bring joy through uh, music. So, so uh, what has changed? Uh, what do you want people to see into this year's uh, song of you? Yeah, uh, I think um, 
at first it's up tempo so it's a lot of energy and i think it suits my energy very well so i can be really myself and just throw myself out there so i, I want them to feel the love and the joy and the, the power that uh, i feel and that the song has and that power that music uh, has also what's your aim with this participation this year uh, the, is it the goal the goal. My, my my english is not so good no, um it's uh, uh, just that uh, so the people can feel uh the joy and uh, what's important the love is is what is important in the world and that also maybe this can be a break from all the troubles that we live in uh, so this can be like a magical little bubble that we can rest in and just be happy and fill our uh, uh, fill up with energy so uh, so, so I, not, not soul, yes right? i want to do that uh, and i want to um we have to uh, give ourselves that break to also just be happy i think that uh, it's going to be a unique entry this year i mean th this was something that we all needed yeah. to listen to this kind of song that is yeah. up tempo and happy yeah. yeah um and we've missed that a lot from yeah. sweden i mean sweden has been constantly sending uh pop songs mm -hmm. lately mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is something that we do need oh yeah thank you and uh, i don't know th it's a competition and you know there's so, so many great songs but so uh, for me, it's the most important thing that uh, that I reach people, and I feel that I'm doing it already. So uh, that's my goal, uh, uh, and I, and also my goal is to come out there and sing <laughs> live with you. That's great. So um, one last thing: what's the message that you would like to send to all these people here in Sweden, but internationally as well, that love you? Uh, the song uh, that I'm gonna sing is about uh, to be brave enough, uh, brave enough to stand in love, uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you will uh, feel that and feel my love uh, to you and f to the music. Uh, when you watch her performance, you should wear sunglasses because <laughs> she's so glowing. You're gonna get blinded by her. Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah. Great having you here and see you on stage. Thank you. See you. <laughs> Bye everyone.